I love beautiful people. I come to thee today with premium gist as usual, and I am still your gister. Chimeli. Mr. David Adejo, the permanent secretary at the Ministry of Education, has emphasized that no federal university within the nation is authorized to charge tuition fees. Mm -hmm. You heard that right. Regrettably, he noted that there has been an unfortunate escalation in charges by the federal universities across the country. He explained that the funds collected by these institutions are allocated to cover various essential services, encompassing electricity bills, accommodation costs, ICT services, and power supply, among other necessity. Refuting suggestions that the increase in the university charges can be attributed to the Student Loan Act, Adejo countered by highlighting the universities that have struggled to meet several of their financial obligations. Hey, I don't, I don't know. Probably the, the problem with Nigeria is implementation because after all these things, we know the amounts that federal universities keep charging students, which, of course, is not supposed to be so. Still talking on financial and economic situations, Adam Oshomole, the senator representing Edo North and a notable figure within the All Progressive Congress APC party, recently commented on the Bolatinibu administration had inherited a challenging economic situation. Mm -hmm. He acknowledged that addressing the country's economic struggles isn't a swift process. However, it is worth noting, note very well, that this is the same individual who once highly praised President Buhari's performance. He staunchly defended the prior government for eight years, eight whole years, while distancing the party from any shortcomings. Presently, he appears to have forgotten that it's still the same party in power. This amnesia has prompted us to reflect on the role of accountability and constructive dialogue in our political discourse. Moving completely away from Nigeria, in a twist of Vegas drama, Usher has turned up the temperature by featuring Kiki Palmer as the leading lady in his new singles video, Boyfriend. The R&B veteran dropped a teaser on Instagram, opening with the lyrics, Somebody say your boyfriend's looking for me. I don't know if that, I can't even remember if that's the right one, <laughs> but. to capture the spotlight in that video. Now, following the snippet, fans rushed to the comment section to share, of course, their two cents, as Usher and Kiki seemingly turned their Sin City escapade into a playfully messy music video. Flashback to July when Kiki Palmer had her Vegas night to remember during Usher's residency. He serenaded her with the song, There Goes My Baby, igniting a viral sensation. Mm -hmm. In this sizzling clip, Kiki draped in a see-through black lace dress, embraced Usher and danced along, creating a social media frenzy. But boy, oh boy, drama followed suit. Enter Darius Jackson, Kiki's baby daddy, who took to Twitter to share his not so impressed thoughts on her attire. A few days later, Jackson wiped away his photos with Palmer from his Instagram while the couple unfollowed each other. Usher's stance cleared the air on his intentions, adding a cheeky twist to the saga. He insisted his serenading was anything but negative. Mm, mm -hmm. Now that's quite a whirlwind tangled with a splash of cheeky pettiness. I'm sure you know. <laughs> this is where we draw the cuttings on today's episode of Gist News. Do well to follow us for more interesting updates. My name is Silchi Meli. Ciao!